Hi, my name is Irina. I empty out makeup products in my shorts and many of you by this point have asked me to make a full YouTube video review of all the makeup products I've emptied out. So welcome to my first YouTube video. As a huge lip gloss and lip oil junkie, I started to empty out the lip oils. My first lip oil I emptied out in November 2023 and it was NYX Fat Oil Lip Trip Lip Gloss in the color Supermodel. It took me 19 days to finish the whole bottle. It is about eight to nine dollars and it is very hydrating. The problem that I had was I cannot reach the product that's on the bottom right here. I tried to flip the bottle, it did not work. Also, if you look at the applicator, that began maybe on day 16, 15, that I could start feeling the plastic. So it wears off, I would say, very quickly. That's the problem with designing, production, whatever. Before you ask, before you ask, why didn't you get the longer applicator and got the product? My philosophy is, is that the NYX, the company, designed the lip oil to be this way. And I want to use it this way. The only thing I am personally willing to do is to remove the stopper. The plastic thing so i could reach more product but that's what i'm willing to do if you want to get a longer applicator and get the product on the bottom go for it you do you this is not something i feel comfortable with so i'm just gonna call it a day with the nyx um lip oil it is worth the money it is good they have a variety of colors so i would definitely recommend this guy the next one is luxury it's the dior addict addict Glow lip oil. Addict lip glow oil. Why do you have to make such names? Like, why? I can't. It is so unnecessary. But anyway, Dior lip oil in the color Cherry 15. You got it. There's so much buzz on the internet about this lip oil. I've heard good things. I've heard horrible things. Well, by using it every single day for 14 days straight, I am willing to give you my own opinion. Does it worth 40 bucks in my opinion? Nope. It smells a little bit minty, but doesn't feel very minty on the lips. To me, color uh, Cherry 15 at least didn't leave any stain. I just made a slight pink color when I was putting it on, but that's pretty much it. In terms of hydration, honestly, I wouldn't say that this is the best lip oil for hydration. It did the job, but also I was traveling, I was on the plane, and I still had some dryness afterwards. I had other lips oils I traveled with, they didn't do that, so this guy really didn't pull this off. Another problem that I had with it is that it started to get dirty very fast. I believe that was, not to lie to you, but day 10, 11, I began noticing all this, I call it dirt, but it's skin parts of the applicator and things like that. Like you can clearly see that. And you can see that there is still product left. I just, I was a little bit disgusted to use it. So I didn't, and I left it as it is. You want Dior? Well, get the Dior, no judges here. Will I repurchase the sleep oil? No, no, sorry. The next one I have is the one by e.l.f. It's the Glow Reviral Lip Oil, right? Yes, I am right. I have to tell you, that is my personal favorite. One thing is, it's super hydrating, it is long wearing, and I absolutely love the applicator. It felt like the softest bunny tail on my lips. If you watched my short about it, it got very muddy on the day three or four, but that's because I drink a lot of coffee, so maybe that's because, but it does get muddy pretty fast. It did not affect the color on the lips. So in the bottle, it got very muddy, but on my lips, it was still crystal clear. Another thing I forgot to tell you, has light mint scent, does not feel minty on the lips. Again, didn't feel minty on my lips. Some people said that they felt little minty sensation, but honestly, it's so little. I didn't feel it, but I could smell it in the bottle. Amazing. Love, love, love. Next one, we come back to luxury again, and it's is the beloved Clarins Comfort Lip Oil. This shade leaves a beautiful warm cherry stain. It is very lightweight, 
has slight like herby natural scent that honestly I could feel on my lips. It didn't bother me, but if you are not someone who likes that, probably you should avoid this product. The negative side of it is that if you have super dry skin and dry lips, this lip oil might not be enough for you, especially if you live in a very dry, cold weather. Also, because of its very light consistency, it's not going to leave that juicy, very glossy finish, I guess because it has more of these natural oils in it that just, you know, they melt into your lips. And it took me 15 days to finish the whole bottle. Last but not least is the Essence Hydra Kiss Lip Oil in the color Kiss from a Rose. This guy has a perfect whip-like consistency and it leaves a super glossy finish. It does have a wax-like taste and a baby wipe-like smell. So just so you know, just so you know, I'm not the only one who notices it. But look, this guy is $4.99. It is what it is. It's not bad for the price. Although it took me six days to finish the whole bottle. I use a lot. I don't force anyone to use as much as I do. This is what I feel comfortable, how I feel comfortable using the product. Anyhow, it's not bad for the price. It has, it's stinky, <laughs> it's, it tastes really bad, but gives perfect, long lasting shine. Here you go. As of right now, I'm emptying out the Summer Fridays lip balm. It's good, I like it. I'll give you more details in the next video that I'm gonna do later. Well, see, it's the first one. Guys, don't judge, it's my first video, come on. I'm filming in my bathroom and I actually even clean my bathroom for the video, so that's a big step. That's a big step in the personal development. I hope you enjoyed, I really hope you enjoyed, because I did, I did enjoy to make this video, even though I was very nervous. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see me emptying out more lip products. As I mentioned before, it is my first YouTube video. I was very nervous and I'm still nervous, but I'm also happy to do this for you, honestly. With your support, I'm here and you're moving me, I guess, hopefully forward. <laughs> hopefully forward, really. Thank you so much, guys, for all of your love and support. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for all of your suggestions about what products I should empty out next. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.